We're really pleased you could join us this morning so that we can celebrate the institutional articulation agreement between Grand Rapids Community College and Grand Valley State University. I'm Erin Busker. I'm the Transfer and Articulation Coordinator here at Grand Rapids Community College. I'm also an alumni of GVSU, so I'm very excited that we're signing this agreement today. We've been working together for many years supporting transfer student success. GRCC and GVSU have a lot of initiatives in place, and signing this agreement is gonna add another initiative to help transfer students transfer from GRCC to GVSU. This morning, our presidents and our provosts are gonna sign into effect an agreement that's gonna pave the way for our faculty to develop articulated programs. When the institutional agreement is in effect, the faculty that are developing the articulated programs will be working together to maintain the curriculum for each side. The articulated programs are not only gonna specify the courses that students should be taking at GRCC before they go to GVSU, but they will also result in an associate's degree for students. These programs are also going to appear in the GRCC catalog, which is something new for us, so we're really excited to sign this today. Uh, Jody G, the Department Head of Exercise Science here at GRCC, and Chris Bodwin, the Assistant Department Chair of Movement Science at GVSU, have already worked to develop an articulated program in exercise science. The resulting program that they worked on together is in the 1415 GRCC catalog, and this is the pilot program that many programs will follow once we sign this institutional agreement. Later on this morning, we're gonna hear from Courtney Toller, a GRCC student who's gonna talk about the benefits of the agreement. And right now, I'd like to introduce the representatives we have here that will be signing the agreement with us. We have uh, President Ender from Grand Rapids Community College, President Haas from Grand Valley State University, Patty Trepkowski from Grand Rapids Community College, our interim provost, and Gail Davis from Grand Valley State University, their provost as well. I'm now gonna turn it over to our presidents and our provost so that they can say a few words and we're gonna start with uh, President Ender. Thank you, Aaron, and welcome everybody. I was, I was trying to think of the right way to frame this this morning, President Haas, and the best I can come up with is we've kind of had this common law marriage for a long, long time, and the children said, it's time for you to go to the altar. So <laughs> today we are marching to the altar. Uh, this is really, we're all in this room, I think, very proud of the work that we presently do in the space of transferring students between our two institutions. I've been here, watched the transfer number for five years now, and every year Grand Valley takes about 1,200 of our students, and that's just a phenomenal number. And I have never had a student or parent come back to me and say they wouldn't take that course. So I feel like the work we've done uh, illegally it has worked very, very well. Uh, but today we have an opportunity to, to really take this work to another place because the agreement that we're about to sign really formalizes our partnership and allows our faculties now to get together and really look at program pathways, never having to revisit uh, the provost and president's office again. And for faculties, that's a wonderful thing. So I am thrilled to be here signing this. I'm thrilled that uh, President Haas is with us and Provost Davis and Provost Tukowski, um, and we'll see what Mr. Haas has to say about this deal, and uh, then perhaps do some signing. Tom? Where are we going on our honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> My cottage, all right, I like that. It's only 35 minutes away, so we can get back to work, too. I like that, thanks, Steve. And. Uh, I, I, I truly appreciate uh, the relationship that I have with uh, Steve. I'm gonna start off with this way. We have a great leader, academic leader, in uh, Dr. Ender. And I've uh, been uh, with uh, college presidents, university presidents uh, uh, across the nation, and there's none better than Steve Ender, in my opinion. And I appreciate uh, what you do for our students here in uh, the Grand Rapids uh, marketplace, uh, but also, um, Having uh, him as a colleague, and I know I can give him a call at any point in time, 
uh, and uh, we can uh, uh, talk uh, through uh, uh, our respective needs on behalf of our students as well. So I do appreciate that leadership, sir, and the continued friendship that we have uh, through these past years. So thank you. Um, this morning, uh, really, I want to open up, and then at the end of the ceremony, I have a few other uh, comments to be made. But uh, as Steve said, this is uh, a relationship that has been around for a long while. In fact, uh, for Grand Valley, the articulation uh, model uh, was uh, the first between a community college and Grand Valley State University in the, in the state. And that is uh, a remarkable statement because it has persisted over these uh, many, many years as well. Um, I really, uh, the term articulation is uh, really a, uh, maybe inside baseball language, but it really is a partnership for students. That, that's really what I view articulation uh, to be. Um, we have uh, other uh, uh, types of uh, uh, programs that uh, I know that can come as a result of this particular uh, articulation, uh, again, the enhancement of the partnership that, that we have for our students. Um, and the, um, the other fact is not directly related, but in a way it is because a program like this is going to result in a, an associates plus uh, the um, ability to get the baccalaureate degree from Grand Valley. But, uh, we're the only uh, university in the state of Michigan to have the reverse articulation agreements with all 28 community colleges as well. We believe that the mission of the community college is, is um, so complementary to Grand Valley that we want to make sure that we then can offer these pathways, different pathways uh, to our students, to the associate's degree and then to the baccalaureate degree. And from there, who knows what the pathway will, will take uh, our students into their careers or into other higher educational opportunities in the lifelong model of learning that we have here in Grand Rapids and West Michigan. So really, really pleased with uh, my colleagues work in, in that regard, the provost uh, and others uh, really coming to understand that we have a, a remarkable opportunity, if not an obligation to help serve our students in this region, to help them on their way to create the talent that we need for West Michigan. So uh, with that, I think uh, I'll turn the microphone over and uh, uh, we'll look at that honeymoon here shortly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, President Haas. Oh. Patty? I'm very excited about this agreement to uh, our curriculum work uh, will be so enhanced by this and already has. And I particularly want to uh, thank Aaron and all of the people who have worked on this agreement on both sides um, and to the wellness and uh, the exercise science and the, the work at Grand Valley there that have set a, um, a template for us to use as we move forward. The big agreement is going to really um, encourage and enable these articulations to articulated curricula to be put together and it really sets a, um, a direction and uh, uh, an intention that's very strong to have those happen. And so I, I'm very grateful to the work that has been done and really look forward to hearing about the work that both of our faculties do together um, to create really good programs for students as they move forward and really clear pathways um, to go from the associate's degree uh, to a bachelor's degree. Um, I think every time those are there for students, they're able to picture how they can actually do this. They can plan and be starting when they're starting with us as, as beginning students and they, they can set that goal higher because for many of our students, that's almost the biggest barrier is that they don't necessarily see themselves going that far. When you can see a program that will get you there, you can start seeing yourself going that far. So I'm very grateful to all the work that's come together to make this happen and all the people who have um, really persisted on this to make, make this uh, agreement and um, uh, just want to say thank you to, to everyone and, and to all of you at Grand Valley for being such great partners with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you, and Provost Davis. 
being last, everybody's already said everything that, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. There is just a wonderful opportunity for us here. I've always had the best feeling about our relationship with Grand Rapids Community College from the point of view of feeling like we all talked along the same lines, along the same value system, and with common goals in education that aren't always there in higher ed. I love our collaborations. We look at our students as the center of our universe, and that's appropriate. I love the quality of the work that you all do at Grand Rapids Community College, and of course, I'm proud of Grand Valley's successes as well. We know that the quality is there in our individual institutions as students come through their courses. And I will say we're not interested in rushing students through. Education is not a race is a quote that has been made a number of times. What we have now with this smoothing of the relationship between the two institutions for our students is the foregone conclusion of high quality and now ease of actually implementing these transitions for students that will lead them to the best possible goals. So I'm very excited. I'm happy to work with you, Patty. Congratulations on your new role. And I'm also looking forward to the days when our individual disciplinary representatives get together more and more on working out the details of this larger MOU. So thank you for everything you do, GRCC and Grand Valley. Thank you guys so much for those remarks and for passing the microphone back to me. Um, we'd like to start the formal signing now and uh, President Ender and President Haas, you have the agreements in front of you. So if you'd start signing and then pass them on to our provosts. <laughs> I would like now to invite GRCC student Courtney Toller up to say a few words. Um, she's a current student here in exercise science, and we asked her if she'd talk about her feelings on the agreement. Thank you. All right. Hi, everyone. I want to start off by saying thank you and that this is such an honor to be talking for the exercise science program. I am very thrilled to be, I just found out I'm the first student going through it, which I didn't know. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Um, the exercise science program has been benefiting me by the way it provides um, options. I went into school not knowing what I wanted to do. And then with this program, it provides the options by whether it's clinical or versus like non-clinical um, health and fitness options. And then there's subcategories to those as well. Um, another thing that how it benefits me is that it's been easy on my wallet. Um, it's nice going and getting a lot of classes done here at CC and the professors are great. Um, they have helped me out a lot. And, um, and Grand Valley is one of my dream schools, so I'm excited to be headed there after this. Um, the program along with some of the classes I've already taken 
has pointed out to me that I am headed in the right direction. I love exercise and um, this is a way that I can put exercise to use and help other people out. Um, this past semester, I was asked to tell my story in regards to my physical activity, health, and total wellness and what I have accomplished. And this is what I wrote. All right. I could write pages on this question, I feel. So I will share my story when I decided to go into the exercise science program. Last semester, I took a yoga class for my wellness class. And my instructor approached me and asked me what I was going, going into. And I told her I was undecided. She then shared with me that she thought I would be a good instructor and should look into the new articulation agreement with Grand Valley. And that was the exercise science program. I was discouraged before she approached me about what I wanted to do. And it was a God sighting for me that she did come and talk to me. I was interested right away and didn't know there was so much I could do with the program. I love exercise and being healthy. Um, so since then, I have accomplished a lot in the program. I have confirmed my love for exercise and that this is the right program for me. I have developed many contacts with my professors and have developed, oh, I already said that, with professors <laughs> that, I have been, that have been very helpful. I'm involved with a yoga for kids at my doctor's office which wouldn't have happened without the help of two of my professors. And I, have been, and I have proven to myself that there are careers out there for me, that I will go to work someday enjoy, and enjoy all of it. This is just the start of my journey. Thank you. Courtney, thank you so much for sharing those comments with us. And I think that just brings to light why we do this work and why we're signing this agreement. I got a little emotional when you were talking. <laughs> I'm just so pleased that, that this is gonna help you on your path. And we're excited to do as many of these as GVSU and GRCC faculty wanna do. So I'd like to turn it back over to the presidents for some closing remarks. So Dr. Under. Thank you, I guess the one thing that uh, I really appreciate about working with Grand Valley and, and through its president, uh, Dr. House, is, I mean, we have no competition between us. Uh, I've always experienced the relationship with Grand Valley is how can this, whatever we're working on, be a win-win for students, for families, for our region and Michigan. Uh, the, the opportunity now for us to, on our admissions application, begin to market these two plus two pathways so that families that are either thinking about graduate school and realize, well, I can save some money for the first two years, and I also know high quality will then transfer on to Grand Valley, and now I can go on and get an MBA with the money that I've saved in the first two years. That's a wonderful opportunity or the family who has a student that has no idea what they're gonna do in their life, you know. Starting here for two years, associate's degree, transferring to Grand Valley, after we've gone through some of that exploration process, kind of figuring out the right pathway, gets that student there as a junior, ready to go into their major field of study. Um, I think we represent what is best about taxpayer money, quite frankly and how to leverage that money, and how to be really sensitive that costs should never take education out of a student's equation. And my relationship with Tom and Grand Valley, that has been a central value that I've experienced as we've talked through many different opportunities for students. So again, I am just really grateful for this partnership. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Dave. And I, I Another important step in the partnership with, uh, with the end result of uh, an, an enhancement of the, of the uh, programming and, and the expansion and the possibilities are here as we heard from our provost as, as well. Uh, many ways, of course, uh, actually, uh, just as a, a sidelight, I'm um, with, the, with the NCAA in Division II and we are undertaking what's called ease of burden. 
And we want to remove those barriers for our students and our student athletes and for our institutions as well. And, and this resonates so well with that concept of ease of burden. And for our students, that's what it needs to be. And for our faculty and staff to create the pathways for our students so much the better as well. And, and this is the best for our students and their families without a doubt. Um, I think really at the end of the day, uh, we're helping our students achieve those goals as we heard from, from uh, our, our young student here just a few minutes ago. Indeed, that, that's what it is. And to uh, streamline the, the pathways, uh, reducing the cost for our students uh, uh, has to be uh, part of our obligation to them and at the same time enhancing the quality of the, of the offerings that we have here at both institutions and that too is a great result of this uh, enhancement to, to our partnership. So I think uh, you heard from Steve, you heard from our provost. At the end of the day, it's all about student success, isn't it? It truly is. About their future success uh, uh, to enable our community uh, and it, in fact enable them to enable the community as well. But at the end of the day, it's about student success and that's why I'm so proud about the relationships that we have between our, our two institutions because that is the superordinate outcome that we want. So thank you for being here. Thank you, uh, Steve. And thank you, uh, our colleagues, uh, as we look ahead to the future and this great enhancement to our partnership. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming and uh, celebrating with us today. Please stick around, have some food, have some water and lemonade in the back. We really appreciate you being here and I really appreciate your spirit of collaboration. Thanks.